What's up YouTube? I'm going to try to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Cheat Engine with Puzzle Quest. Um, I generally try to use Cheat Engine on really basic games, not advanced games, because with advanced games they're like, there are a lot of problems with cheating and stuff like that, but in a game that doesn't really impact anyone where you're just playing for the single player story, uh, I believe it should be okay. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do, you'll notice I have Cheat Engine up. Um, I want to attach it to the Puzzle Quest process. So I'll click here. And then I'll select Puzzle Quest. Well, the associated table, uh, I've already created a cheat table for this. But I'll go ahead and say no and just start new, just so you can see how it's done. So let's pro let's start with or let's do the most important things that most people are probably going to want to do um, this is the reason that I got cheat engine this is really how I learned how to get into these like for example the crystals in puzzle puzzle quest the coins and the command points so the first thing that you'll want to do um, when you start with off with a really low amount like 100 or 200 what you would do is you'd go everything in this game is stored in the 4 byte value so if you were to go like you had 200 coins 200 and you go first scan I'm not going to do it here because it's, it's going to show a lot but you go first scan okay I'll maybe I'll do it and 200 will pop up and what you want to do is when you go to the um, go to the store or where you recruit heroes so I go here so go to recruit heroes and as you scroll scroll through you'll see that I have a lot but that's only because I started out with having a quantity right here um, so let's let's take a, a quick example here um, right now you can see I have 248,331 command points and this costs 20 each so let's start by entering the value that I have right now I'll go new scan then 248331 and then first scan and in this case because it's kind of a unique number it's not gonna pull up that many but let's see so two four eight three three one now knowing that this cost 20 and that value is two four eight three three one let's go ahead and buy one and it should go down by 20 okay so now I have two four eight three one one and all the the number that has changed will always be in red so in this case it's these two numbers and I I'm just double clicking to add them 8311 and it shows my previous value was 248331 so we know that's correct now what I'll do to test to make sure that these values are indeed representative of the command points is I'll just change some things in the game and like change screens and sometimes that will change one of the numbers so you know it's not like the static value for the moment so let's just go over a few screens okay still have two four eight three one one back to the main menu still have the same values so now what I'll do is I'll highlight both of these and to do this I'll do control click and then I'm going to right click and go to change record and then value so I'm at two four 
eight three one one. Let's do let's go even and do two five zero 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 zero. Now as you can see here I'm changing the value for both of these memory addresses right here. The one B F four F B nine four and one B F four F B D zero. Now these value these addresses are gonna be different in your game, which is um, which makes it kind of fun to find the val the value. So let's go ahead and change it here. And as you see, it's immediately reflected in the balance here in the game. So that's how you that's how you do that. Uh, we can mess around with a few other different values, like let's do the coins. Coins are pretty helpful to have in this game. Go seven five seven two nine one. And you want to do do scan, and then click first scan. See seven five seven two nine one seven five seven two nine one. Now, something that will make this a little bit easier, at least this is what I I started noticing after a while. If you look at the beginning of these memory addresses, you'll see one B F four, and you can generally these values generally stay within the same range of memory addresses and they count up so if you look at this 1b f4 you'll see 1b f4 okay the next two numbers or letters are fb 1b f4 fb and you'll see at the end here we have 90 the end of this when we have nine four, um, these memory addresses are very close, so it is very very likely that this will be the right value to change. So let's go ahead and try that out. So seven five seven two nine one seven five seven two nine one. We're gonna right click, change record, value, and let's just change it to seventy nine. Seven nine zero. One, two, three. And as you'll see in the top of the screen here, you'll see in the top of the screen here, it, it has changed to 7900. And you can double it, you can verify that if you go back to Recruit Heroes and then buy something with coins like this. Yep, click through all these. See, now I'm down again to 787200 when I started with a higher value. <laughs> For me right now, I cannot remember what I started with. Yes, I am showing 787 Two zero zero now, and that reflects here. And then, if I want to buy a bunch of these packs and I don't want this value to go down, I can just click here, the little check mark, check box next to it, and it will freeze the value. So, see, I'm at seven eight seven two hundred. If I click with more, not a purchase that's going to require more coins, like this is three thousand. This value right here should not change. So let's just click through these real quick. See, that value didn't change at all. So you could do this all day if you wanted to. Um, sometimes you you might want to. It's kind of it's kind of fun once you're playing this. Been playing the game for a long time, like I have. I've been playing for years, and that was before I even knew Cheat Engine existed. I play on the mobile, and now I'm playing on the PC. I love it. I love the game. I love getting the new characters. I think it's really fun to be able to have this option. So, there's that. In my next video, I'll show you how I calculate crystals also. So, the number you see here, 216-99544. 
There's definitely more crystals than you'll ever need, but it'd be really help it's helpful to have. Um, and also, these values here. So when you're rewarded with like heroic packs, you generally get like two or three, three or five or something like that. I'll show you how to get this value and jack it up to a higher number. Then after that, we'll likely go through supports, which is pretty difficult finding these. You have to do some manual search through memory addresses. And we'll also look into like vaults and such. I see I have so many categories here because I've gone through and manually unlocked them. So this is Nebula and Friends. And I can also show you how to, when you're looking at a vault, how to get an epic every time or how to get whatever the featured character is every time. All right, so stay tuned. If you have any questions for me about this process, uh, I gotta let you know now I don't really know much about static values. I haven't had great success in finding stat pointers or anything like that. Uh, it's been kind of difficult. So if you have any questions about just like basic searching, I can definitely help you out. It's something that I've had a lot of fun with and it's got me actually interested in programming. So yeah, go ahead and leave your questions in the comment below, comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, as always, please like and subscribe and We've been D88G Gaming. I'm Eric, and I'm out.